Hello friends, I welcome you to my YouTube channel Macpium. So in this video we will solve a numerical problem which, which is based on the eccentric loaded riveted joints. So this is very complex problem but let's try to solve this. So let's read the problem. The bracket as shown in figure to carry a load of 45 kN. So this load is 45 kN. And uh, this determine the size of the rivet if the CR stress is not to exit 40 mega Pascal so P is given as 45 into 10 to the power 3 Newton we have to find D diameter of the rivets and diameter of all the rivets are same and maximum CR stress tau max is equal to 40 mega Pascal of 40 Newton per mm square assume all the rivets are same size ok so first of all we will find the center of gravity of this system all the rivets ok so if you see uh, this this rivet is all the rivets are symmetrical around this center of this rivet if you do the numbering if you write a 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 then you can see that uh, this is symmetrical around rivet number 5 so its, so its center of gravity will lie on the rivet number center of rivet number 5 ok now what will be the forces acting on these two so let's zoom it see this is load P so this load due to this load P at center of gravity there will be a load equal to P and then a moment which will be equal to P E because this is force P and this distance is E so this moment P E will act here if you can transfer this load here then it will become a load P and moment P E so ok so load P is equal to P is already 45 into 10 power 3 Newton and moment M is equal to P E which is equal to 45 into 10 to the power 3 into eccentricity is sorry eccentricity of load is 500 mm so it will be equal to 22.5 into 10 to the power 6 newton mm ok so this much movement will be transferred here so due to this moment and load what forces will be acting on these rivets ok so this load P there are total 9 number of rivets so this load P which is shear force primary shear force will be divided between all the among all the rivets so P as primary shear force on the rivets will be equal to P divided by N ok where P is equal to 45 into 10 to the power 3 divided by N is number of rivets which is equal to 5000 Newton so 5000 Newton force will be acting on each rivet in downward direction ok so this is the direction of force PS on each rivet primary shear force will act like this in downward direction because initial force P was in downward direction Okay. now due to this moment this moment PE what will be the secondary forces acting on the rivets so for that we know that say this force F2 F secondary shear force X is a proportional to L length of the rivets sorry length of the distance of L is distance of rivets from the center of gravity so if we connect all if we connect all the center of reverse with the center of gravity of the system then we will find something like this now you can see that this can become L1, this can become L2, L3, L4, sorry, 
L4, L5, L6, L7, L8, L9. L5 will be zero because this center of gravity is same as center of gravity of L uh, of number rivet number five. Okay. So we will calculate L1, L2, L3. So F is proportional to L, or we can say that F1 is proportional to L1. F1, F2, AC3 are secondary shear force due to moment. Okay. F3 is proportional to L3, and so on. So we can write F1 by L1 is equal to F2 by L2 is equal to F3 by L3, and so on. F9 by L9. From here, you can see that F2 from this to F2 is equal to F1 L2 by L1. Similarly, F3 by F1 L3 by L1. Similarly, F9 is equal to F1 L9 by L1. So we know that PE is equal to F1 L1 plus F2 L2 plus F3 L3. It will be sum of all the moments. Okay. But if we keep the value of F F2 F3 F3 here, it will be F1 L1 plus F2 each. F1 L2 divided by L1 into L2 plus F F1 L3 divided by L1 into L3 plus like this F1 L9 into L9 divided by L1. So if we take common F1 by L1 here, PE is equal to F1 by L1. Then it will become L1 square plus L2 square. Plus L3 square plus similarly L9 square. Okay, so P is known to us. So if we can put the value of P, then we can find the value of F1 here because L1, L2, L3 is if we can find from this diagram you can see that L1, L2, L3, L sorry, L1, L3, L9 and L7 are same equal. Okay, so we can write here. L1 is equal to L3 is equal to L7 is equal to L9. It is equal to diagonal of this square, so it will become under root 120 square plus 100 square. Okay, so it will become 156.2 mm. Now L5 is zero. L2 is 120 is equal to L8 and L4 is equal to L6 is equal to 100. So we have calculated all the lengths. So if we put the values here in this equation, then PE PE is 45 kilonewton into 500 mm e is equal to f1 divided by l1 is 156.2 in bracket 4 l1 square because l1 is equal to l3 is equal to l7 is equal to l9 so we have to written 4 times l1 plus 2 times l2 square plus 2 times l4 square because l4 is equal to l6 l2 is equal to sorry we have written L2 is equal to L8, L4 is equal to L6. Okay, L5 is equal to 0. So if we put all the values here, you will get is equal to F1 by 156.2 into 4 into 156.2 square plus 2 into 120 square plus 2 into 100 square. So it will become 973.2 F1. Okay. So from here F1 is equal to from here 
you can see if you divide by 973.2 f1 is equal to 2 3 1 2 0 newton okay now you can see from here f2 is equal to f1 l2 by l1 f3 is equal to so from these formulas we can find f2 f3 it is so f2 is equal to f1 l2 by l1 which is equal to f8 which is equal to 23120 into 120 by 156.2 so it will become 17762 why f2 is equal to f8 because l2 was equal to l8 and force was proportional to length okay similarly f3 is equal to f1 is for into l3 by l1 is equal to f1 is equal to f7 is equal to f8 because l3 is equal to l7 is equal to l9 is equal to l1 all the lengths were same so it will become 2 3 1 2 0 newton similarly f4 is equal to f1 into l4 by l1 and f4 and f6 are same because l4 and l6 are same so it will become 2 3 1 2 0 into 100 by 156.2 so it will become 14800 newton okay so we have found all the forces now if you see the formula of resultant forces so these forces will act perpendicular to the lines so they will act like this this will act like this f2 f3 will act like this f4 will act like this f5 will be 0 f6 f6 will be like this f f9 will be like this f8 will be like this f7 will be like this okay so if you see from this figure then you will find out that if you see the formula of resultant force is equal to f1 square plus f2 square plus 2 f1 f2 cos theta so if cos theta is minimum maximum then only this resultant force will be maximum so we will find the forces where theta is minimum so you, you can see that at 6 number at 3 number at these points theta is minimum so cos theta will be maximum so at this point maximum force resultant force will act okay so we will find forces only 3 6 and 9 so we will find f r3 r6 and r9 because at these points angle is minimum between these two forces so force will be maximum at these three points so we will calculate the cos theta 3 cos theta 3 if you see from the diagram then you can see that theta 3 will be this angle it will be equal to this angle and theta 9 is this angle which is equal to this angle so theta theta 3 and theta 9 will be same okay is equal to cos theta 9 is equal to see from here cos theta if you find it will be based by this so this is 100 from here and this is l3 l3 we have calculated which is 156.2 so 100 divided by 156.2 so it will be 0.64 so if you calculate the resultant force then it will become r3 is equal to r9 is equal to root ps square plus f3 square 
प्लस टू पी एस एस थ्री कॉस थीटा थ्री सो इफ यू पुट ऑल द वैल्यूज हियर देन यू विल गेट रूट फाइव थाउजेंड स्क्वायर प्लस ट्वेंटी थ्री थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी स्क्वायर प्लस टू इंटू फाइव थाउजेंड इंटू ट्वेंटी थ्री थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी इंटू कॉस्ट हिटाइज पॉइंट सिक्स फोर सो इफ यू कैलकुलेट दिस वैल्यू देन यू विल गेट टू सिक्स सिक्स डबल जीरो न्यूटन सो दिस इज एफ आर थ्री एंड आर नाइन सिमिलरली इफ यू फाइंड आर सिक्स देन फ्रॉम द डायग्राम इफ यू सी आर सिक्स आर सिक्स हियर बॉथ द फोर्सेस आर इन सेम डायरेक्शन सो दे विल सिंपली एड अप सो आर सिक्स विल बिकम सम ऑफ दिस टू फोर्सेस पी एस प्लस आर सिक्स सॉरी पी एफ प्लस एफ सिक्स सो इट विल बिकम फाइव थाउजेंड प्लस फोर्टीन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड सो इट विल बिकम नाइनटीन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड न्यूटन ओके सो इफ यू सी मैक्सिमम लोड मैक्सिमम लोड इज आर थ्री इज इक्वल टू आर नाइन विच इज आर मैक्स इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड न्यूटन सो रेवेट विल गेट सीड एट दिस लोड ओके सो वी विल कैलकुलेट डायमीटर अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस सो इट विल बी इक्वल टू फाइव बाई फोर डी स्क्वायर इन टू टाउ मैक्सिम सीयर स्ट्रेस ओके सो फ्रॉम हियर डी स्क्वायर इफ यू कैलकुलेट यू विल गेट ट्वेंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाई थर्टी वन पॉइंट फोर टू सो इट विल बिकम एट फोर सिक्स सो इफ यू कैलकुलेट डी डी इज पल टू अंडर रूट एट फोर्टी सिक्स सो इट विल बी इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी नाइन एम सो और एंसर डायमीटर रिक्वायर्ड और दिस दिस प्लेट विल बी डायमीटर ऑफ रिवेट्स विल बी ट्वेंटी नाइन एम एम ओके सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज लिटिल बिट लॉन्ग प्रॉब्लम एंड लिटिल बिट कन्फ्यूजिंग टू अंडरस्टैंड बट यू फॉलो द स्टेप्स यू कैन इजिली अंडरस्टैंड इट जस्ट इन वॉट लॉट ऑफ लॉट ऑफ कैलकुलेशन ओके सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड दिस एंड इफ यू एनी डाउट देन यू कैन आस्क इन द कमेंट सेक्शन and if you like this video then please share and subscribe to our channel thank you for watching